What is going on guys? We are working on a 92 F250. We're gonna talk about the instrument cluster. I've got the instrument cluster out of this truck already. We're gonna walk through the process of how it all comes apart, uh, show you how to put it all back together, how to install it back in the truck. This one specifically had a parasitic drain from the speedometer module. There's a board on the back of the speedometer module that was draining the battery on this truck. So we've got it out. You've got three plugs on the back and then you've got one that plugs right into the back of the speedometer itself. This is for our fuel tank, front and rear tanks. Uh, this actually bolts in. We'll walk through all that here in a second. Okay, so here we've got all our components. This is the housing. It's got your light bulbs in it. And that's also where all your uh, gauges plug into. Now, like I said, on this one, the speedometer was the problem. The board on the back of it, they call that the PSOM. There's a couple videos I've seen of guys repairing these online. Um, I'll put those videos down in the description. They do a great job. Wasn't something I wanted to tackle, so I found a company out of Texas. Uh, Texas Speedometers, they were able to uh, get this thing fixed for me, get it sent back. So we're gonna go ahead and get it all put back together. On these, the speedometer is what goes in first. Everything kind of stacks in on top of it. It actually just sets down there, just like that. Then on the tack, we've actually got some plugs that plug in right here. Once again, it just kind of sets in on top of the speedometer. This one, you got to make sure that it, those pins line up and it actually pushes in. It's like so. Actually pushes down. Next we've got the battery voltage and the fuel tank. Same thing. They actually plug in so we can get those lined up. Plug in just like so. And then finally, oil pressure, coolant temperature. Next, we've got the bezel. It just sets on top. Got two screws here at the bottom. Now we'll move on to our clear cover. It sets on and then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bolts to hold this thing on. Now we've got the cluster all back together, all our bolts back in it. We can see on the back here, we've got those two plugs we talked about and then the center one for the speedometer module. Let's go get this put in the truck. I have also found it easier You put it all the way down in first, just gets that shifter out of the way. And we can put this in and get our plugs plugged into the back of it. It's also easiest that I've found to feed the top in first, and then we can swing the bottom down. Now another tricky part is your shift indicator. You gotta get it around in front of the cluster so you can get it fed back up into it. It's a little bit tricky. And then it's actually just got two bolts that hold it in there. Now that we've got this up in here, you got a bolt here and a bolt here that hold that in place. I'm gonna use my paper trick with the socket. If you haven't seen that video, go check out my shorts. I talk about this. Once that's secure, we can get this put up into place and get our 
bolts. We've got one, two, three, four bolts that actually hold the entire cluster to the dash. Now we're all ready. Put our plastic back on, fuel switch, make sure we get it plugged in. Once you get this in place, you got one bolt here, one bolt here, then our trim pieces will go back on. We can also put our headlight knob back on. Just 